Good afternoon again. So the panel was very, very exciting to me. It was awesome. Uh, and a lot of the, uh, uh, the concepts that they discuss, commitment, perseverance, positivity, persistence, it, they all impact really all the success in very many different uh, careers. So I'm always happy to hear uh, those messages. So what, what we're going to do uh, now, uh, as Liesl said, uh, a little bit different from I, what I do most of the time, but uh, since uh, Neolive turned 60 last year, I would like to give a brief uh, outline, a brief um, uh, summary of the scientific achievements that Neolife have made during uh, these decades. Really, it's uh, uh, something that we all have to be proud of. 60 years of dedicating to research and, and uh, innovation. 60 years offering products that work, that are effective, that represent the latest, in the, in the latest knowledge in the area of health and nutrition. 60 years of really harnessing the nutrients from whole foods to support cellular energy for a lifetime of health and vitality. So that is something that we have to be always uh, proud of, being part of Neolife. So very quickly, uh, ever since uh, its inception, Neolife has been a leader in innovation and has always kept at the forefront of science and technology. And this has allowed us to formulate and, and offer products that are responsible, that are effective, uh, as, as I said, and that, that really provide, uh, that are responsible and safe, and that provide only benefits. Because of this, uh, er, from very early on, it has gained us a reputation of scientific excellence as we have uh, conducted innovating and really world-class research. I'll talk a little bit about them as, as we move through the decade. Uh, we have published in peer-reviewed scientific journals, presented in, in, in elite uh, scientific conferences, and partnered with really scientists around the world and research uh, academic institutions. So this, I will go throughout uh, really talking more, more like a story of uh, the evolution of science uh, in Neolife and, and really how the science uh, uh, through the, the decades uh, translates into products that work and I think products that we all have to be uh, proud of. So, so uh, from the very beginning uh, when Neolife opened uh, its doors, it did so with a very special product, a product that was completely innovative. Uh, in the market at that time, and that was Formula 4. It provided whole food nutrients, it provided whole food uh, uh, training grain concentrates, and that was something that, that has had never uh, been seen before. And it also introduced at that time the concept of cellular nutrition. We, we, we talk about cellular nutrition now, and, it's, and everybody understands uh, 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 cellular nutrition, but you have to think that at that time, in 1958, and I remember uh, my lectures when I went to, uh, to uh, college, the university, not even in high school, when we did not even know the structure of the cell and the cell membrane. They gave you uh, three possibilities that how how this could be, and yet at this time, Neolife offered uh, uh, train and grain, grain concepts to optimize the e efficacy of the, cell of the cell membrane. So it was very, very uh, innovative. And uh, everything about the product was, was new. Uh, it's it's a gelatin capsule and it's a whole food core and this, if you think about it, it was at the time that most, practically all the nutrition uh, supplement companies were, produ pr uh, were producing hard tablets that had a smattering of uh, some minerals and some vitamins. So, 
and this is 1958, so it's more than 60 years ago, so it's a, a very inno innovative. Um, and another thing that it also uh, uh, pioneered is, is in our protein uh, shakes. At that time, that, uh, that, uh, that decade of the, uh, of the late 50s, early 60s, it was the scientists were focusing on the health benefits of protein. It was th really the decade of protein. Even my advisor in college too, in the, no, in, in, uh, the, in, in my uh, PhD program at Berkeley, had gained his reputation. With, with, uh, he was a, a well-renowned uh, uh, well uh, scientist already in his, uh, in his late 70s, and he, was, he gained all his uh, reputation uh, assessing the quality of proteins and also the protein requirements. But at this early time, Neolife realized that, yes, we need protein, but the sources of protein that people are consuming are mostly from pig and uh, uh, pork sources and beef. And those come with, as you know, high levels of saturated fats and high levels of cholesterol. So that is a damaging compounds in, and in food and contribute to disease later on in life. And so uh, Neolife seek to uh, introduce a new high quality source of protein. So it uh, developed two processes, um, the instant protein technology, so we could uh, develop proteins that could mix very easily in liquids, and develop this protoguard process, uh, a way of controlling the mixing and blending parameters of po different powder source of protein, so that the, the quality of protein was maintained, and it was able to be the first uh, company to introduce a product that provided uh, high quality protein that provided the 22 amino acids in human nutrition. So that, is a, that was a, a new life first and it goes all the way back uh, to the, n uh, n uh, the early 60s, uh, late, late uh, 50s. At the same time, which is, I, I am pretty amazed because I, I was not there at, at, <laughs> at that time, but I'm pretty amazed too that they extended the concept of health, personal health, to health of the of the environment uh, of the of the planet, and they, as Carla was saying, so early on, they introduced uh, a line of personal care and home care products that were di uh, biodegradable and eco-friendly. All the way, you know, back in the in the 60s. It's now now every company is trying to do it, but this goes uh, way back. So. Uh, so what? So, so we entered to the second uh, decade, and uh, already at that time, Neolife was quite recognized as as a, as a, a company to watch, as a, a, a leading company in nutrition. But I think of all the achievements that Neolife Neolife had, I think the most important was to invite Dr. Arthur first to be part or to join uh, the Neolife company. How many of you have heard of Dr. Arthur first? Yes, he, yeah, he really was, I mean, I, I had the, one of the, my, my greatest uh, pleasures of working on Neolife has been working so close together with uh, Dr. Ar Arthur first. Well, he was a world-renowned toxicologist uh, a cancer specialist that spent most of his life trying to find a co the causes and a cure for cancer. But midway of the, if in his career, he said, you know, also focusing on, on the cure, m maybe it's more important also to focus on, on the prevention of, this, of disease, on keeping and maintaining the health of the individual. So it was a really close match to uh, to the 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 aims of the Neolife company, and so doing this, Neolife kind of let gave the reins of product development to science because he did it. Uh, so he gave them uh, to Dr. Arthur first, and one of the very first things that Dr. First did was to establish the scientific advisory board. Uh, today, we are eight members of the Scientific Advisory Board. We are all scientists uh, dedicated with different specialties, um, either food technology, nutrition, sports nutrition, biochemistry, microbiology. So the, 
uh, among the whole group, we, we, gather, we gather practically all the areas of nutrition as it pertains to, to health. And I'm going to have a little bit of water now. <laughs> And one thing that we are very dedicated is keeping up with the philosophy established by Dr. Arthur First on product development. And that is the philosophy of based in nature and backed by science. Based in nature is that we look at nature, we look at opti optimal diets as a guide in product formulation. What should we include in your products? And it also means that whenever possible, we look at the finest whole food in, uh, ingredients from where we can uh, derive the nutrients that we incorporate in, in our supplements. And then um, by based, by based in science, and that means that we not only look at uh, how uh, bioavailable the product is, how easily it is, uh, uh, it is uh, assimilated in our body, but also testing the the raw materials to confirm purity and potency and testing for the efficacy of the product. And also, nature uh, gives us a guideline of nutrients to include in a product, but we also, the science, also tell us how these nutrients would be, uh, would be, p would be working at the cellular level, so we can match uh, both of them. Another thing uh, that, uh, that happened uh, early in the second decade is that Neolife uh, uh, established a really state-of-the-art manufacturing facility that included a really top-notch quality control uh, uh, facility and together with a, with a fantastic uh, uh, a research laboratory, analytical laboratory. And with the quality control and the, re uh, the research analytical laboratory, we were able really to uh, create and develop uh, processes and, and, and inno innovative uh, technologies that have helped us produce really uh, unique products. One of them, again, this for you might not seem that uh, Amazing, but but this is this is going all the way 50 years ago. We developed the Neoplex concentrate, or as, as you call it here, the citrus bioflavonoid complex. And this is a group of flavonoids from citrus uh, fruits that help in the absorption and the assimilation of vitamin C. And 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 and, and, and you probably have seen the citrus bioflavonoid complex all over the place, and, and flavonoids are really, really important these days. Uh, whenever you open a, a, a magazine, there's always a, 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 an article that have benefits of flavonoids. Well, this, this, this goes back 50 years ago, so you have to be, um, I think I, I am always very impressed. And the other thing that, that uh, was, very uh, was very impressive too is the development of Betagard or, uh, or Toxgard. Then this, uh, 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 Dr. Arthur Fe First was a toxicologist, and so he studied all his life uh, how our body can protect itself from uh, toxins or contaminant in the water, in the food, in the, in the air we breathe. And he, he was convinced that our body has the capacity to defend itself. It has optimal levels of certain uh, nutrients. And so he developed uh, uh, Betagard, which is a blend of uh, antioxidants and, and detoxifying nutrients that work together to help the body uh, um, metabolize and, and, and excrete the, uh, and uh, neutralize. Uh, these toxins, and, I, and now I think I want to tell you, uh, could go off a little bit of screen to tell you an, an anecdote on how I joined a Neolife and, and about Betagard. So I was working at, at Stanford uh, doing my postdoc, and my principal investigator, or the professor I was working uh, ag against her was uh, Dr. Rice, and I was finishing already my postdoc, so I had to find a job. And I see this ad in the paper um, for a position, uh, R&D, director of R&D in, in this company, Neolife. And I'm like, oh, maybe it's a bit uh, too high a level, but 
I don't know. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try. So uh, I called. They have a phone number. I called, and, and John Miller, who uh, at that time was uh, the, the organizer of the Scientific Advisory Board, answers. And, uh, and then she, uh, she talks about the company, about the Scientific Advisory Board, and then she says, and then the leader of the Scientific Advisory Board is Dr. Arthur First. And I was a nutritionist, so, so I didn't know, an er early nutritionist, so I didn't know about Dr. Arthur First yet. And so I go back to the lab and I tell my professor, you know, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of applying to this company. And uh, there, there's th uh, this, this, uh, the leader of the, of the scientific uh, advisory board they have is Dr. Arthur First. And she looks at me and says, Dr. Arthur First? <laughs> and, and, and I said, yes, do you, do you know him? And she, she was a toxicologist by training. And she says, oh, Dr. Arthur First was my professor. He was the best professor I had in the university. So, and I'm like, okay, then. So I make an appointment for an interview and then I'm sitting down in the lobby and uh, and then I'm waiting for my interview, and then I see this display of products, and I see uh, the bottle of Betagard, and I'm so I take it and I read the ingredients and I read what it is, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a this company really knows what what they're doing, and so that's 25 years ago, and the rest is history. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Okay, so I was, t I was telling you that we installed a pretty uh, uh, sophisticated analytical lab, research lab, and that allowed us, allowed us to do a uh, some new innovations. And for example, the threshold control pin technology that was uh, really for the supplement, in the supplement in this, this industry, it was the very first one to do so. Uh, and this was particularly important for water-soluble uh, nutrients like uh, vitamin C because, uh, because this, uh, way, this way of delivery, it maintained the, the, vit the, the vitamins levels in your blood or in your body at a constant rate as the, as the tablet dissolved over a period of six hours or more. Another uh, innovation that we have is, like wha is what we call the artificial stomach. And so the, what is the artificial stomach? It's a, very, it's a set of very sophisticated uh, equipment together that mimic the environment and the activity of the stomach and the uh, upper digestive tract. And so you can really test the performance of the product uh, at in different conditions. And you can see how fast or how slow the product would dissolve uh, uh, given a, a set of conditions. Uh, and this allowed us to, uh, to uh, formulate products that have this targeted del uh, delivery technology. And what does that targeted delivery mean? Is that you uh, uh, deliver the nutrient in the part of the digestive tract where it's going to provide the, the most benefits. Uh, one of, uh, of the best examples, I think, is acidophilus complex, uh, acidoph uh, acidophilus plus, because what, it, what you need is to deliver live bacteria, these live beneficial bacteria, to the largest intestine. I, that is where they perform their function. And this means that you have to protect the live bacteria from the acid in the stomach and protect the bacteria from the very alkaline environment of the very upper uh, digestive tract. And so we can achieve this by uh, 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 these technological advances, coating the, the, the tablets in a, separate in a special way so ca they can resist both the acid and the alkaline environment and deliver the live bacteria the, to the large intestine. Another perfect example also is your garlic complex. Well, what you need there is to provide allicin, is the active component in garlic. And, um, and so uh, then again, it's very susceptible to the acid environment in the stomach. So by the targeted deliver, we can protect the allicin so it reaches the upper digestive tract where, uh, where it is absorbed. Okay, in the third decade. So this, I'm not, I'm not covering every advance or every product. Otherwise, I, I take, 
until tonight. <laughs> so, and I'm sure you want to take a, a your dinner. <laughs> so, uh, the third decade, what we did, uh, uh, and this uh, Dr. Fred Hooper was in charge, is in the uh, uh, Texas AMN University. Uh, we wanted to see the effect of trin and grain concentrates on the assimilations of nutrients by the cell. So he conducted a study where he uh, had two groups. One group uh, received uh, exactly the same uh, diet, except one uh, group received the train and grain concentrates, and the other w uh, and the other did not. And by the end of the experiment, we we could see that there was a greater growth and development am among those um, am among those that have consumed the the train and diet. There was greater cardiovascular development among the, the, those that had consumed the diet with trenin. And given that they both were consuming exactly the uh, same diet, uh, um, the, the, the group that, rece that received the trenin grain concentrates did have a greater uh, assimila nutrient assimilation from the diet. And that's exactly what uh, we wanted that uh, we were saying about and that it does increase the utilization of nutrients in your diet, increase the cellular uptake of nutrients from the diet to perform the, met the metabolic functions. So the, whoops, the fourth decade. So now here, the fourth decade, we have been talking about protein and vitamins and minerals. The four decades was really the phytonutrient uh, decade. Is that the 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 decade of the phytonutrient revolution, as I call it. So, what what are phytonutrients? Phytonutrients are uh, protective compounds in fruits and vegetables. We don't know uh, at that time. At that time, we didn't know how they worked. But what we did know was that they they had an effect in uh, of reducing uh, uh, of keeping people healthy and reducing the incidence of disease. Uh, uh, what, ha what happened with this, how did they find this out, is they looked at the, at the diet of populations and around the world and measured the incidence of disease on all these populations, and they found uh, that those uh, populations that have a high consumption of fruits and vegetables had a lower incidence of disease. Conversely, those populations that had a lower intake of fruits and vegetables uh, vegetables had a, mu a much higher incidence of disease. And so John uh, tells me, I, I was already at, I, um, in, at, at Neolife, and so John tells me, uh, you know, Ariana, I'm reading all these things, yes, and I said, yes, John, it's, it's just like all the conferences are showing, are showing this. And, 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 and what also is very worrisome to me is that we are consumer fewer and fewer fruits and vegetables, and it seems that, that there must be a tremendous gap in what people recommend about consuming fruits and vegetables. At that time, it was three servings of fruits and two servings, no, two servings of fruit and three servings of vegetables a day. Now the recommendation is uh, consume fruits and, and vegetables nine or more. So you can see how things have changed. But at the same time, he says there's an enormous gap on, on on these health protective compounds in the diet of the of, of the population, in the diet of our distributors, so we have to develop a product that uh, helps us bridge this gap, this gap. And so, in the in the fourth decade, we went full uh, blast into looking at compounds in fruits and vegetables and identifying what was missing in the diet and what was very important for cellular function and for overall health. And so we developed three products, carotenoid complex, flavonoid complex, and cruciferous plus. And I can tell you that in those, uh, those three products, really, as John says, scooped the market because it took about 10 years for the rest of the industry to catch up uh, with these products. What is so special about these products is that they are uh, provides uh, the the family of different uh, phyto uh, phytonutrients. Carotenoid complex provides the carotenoids that you would find in an optimal serving of uh, carotenoid 
carotenoid rich fruits and vegetables. Flavonoid uh, complex provides the full uh, uh, families of uh, flavonoid that you can find in a flavonoid rich fruits and vegetables. And cruciferous plus provides those protective phytonutrients from cruciferous uh, vegetable. What, what, was, what were the other uh, supplement uh, uh, companies doing at that time? Practically nothing in this area, except maybe one or two that were providing synthetic beta-carotene. It's just one carotenoid. Do they, do they happen in plants like that? No. And so it was, this provided the whole family, and it was, they were entirely uh, uh, made from extracts and, uh, extracts and concentrates from whole foods things like carrots and tomatoes and spinach, and so they provided lycopene, alpha-carotene, beta-carotene, lutein, zeaxanthin, the broad uh, range of nutrients that you find in this important vegetable. And in the fourth decade, not only we introduced uh, these products, we carried out a lot of research onto, onto the health effects and the bioavailability of these nutrients. I'm not going to talk all the research that we did, but uh, one thing that was very important for us, because uh, this product was so new, is to see if we absorbed and assimilated uh, these products. And so we conducted this study with Stanford Recent Research Institute and had, uh, in, uh, similar to the, uh, carot the salmon oil uh, study be that I mentioned before, we had uh, a group of men and women, healthy men and women, um, that took the supplement and, mo and uh, 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 had blood samples after four weeks and after eight weeks. And sure enough, we found that carotenoid levels, not only of beta-carotene, but beta-carotene, alpha-carotene, and lutein, and lycopene, increased significantly in the, in the blood. So this was the first study that showed that you could absorb carotenoids from a supplement uh, made entirely of extracts of fruits and vegetables. And it was published in 1994. Yes, I'm dating myself. <laughs> no, it was published in 2000. <laughs> no, so, uh, so it was very, it was published in uh, 1994. And, it, and, and because it was the first one to show the, the bioavailability uh, the, of these uh, ca important carotenoids from fruits and vegetables, it caught the attention the, of the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture. The, one of their tasks is to do research on agricultural products. And, and so they wa had been wanting to study the effects of these compounds uh, uh, in, in the individuals, and they borrowed, they asked us for, to supply the, their or products so that they could carry out their study and to show whether they were absorbed, whether they, um, they also reduced uh, measures of oxidative stress and, where the, and, and uh, whether they in improved the immune function of individuals because these were the, these were the, function, uh, these were the, the markers that they were looking at, at at that time. And sure enough, they did reduce uh, the markers of oxidation in the blood and, in the s and, and oxidation at the cell membrane level. And what was very unexpected to them is that uh, they measured, uh, the study lasted 60 days, but they, they took samples every 20 days. And they at as early as 20, day, they, 20 days, they saw uh, an increase in thir of 37% of um, in, uh, in immune capacity, which is, again, pretty amazing because they use label doses, and this is just a natural product. But to cause a 37% increase is really very, very dramatic. And that was absolutely not done by us. So. So then uh, the fifth decade, the fifth decade th also, as, as every decade goes, there's something, a new uh, uh, nutrition uh, hero or, or a new nutrition villain. Uh, the hero in this decade was, uh, was the um, omega-3 fatty acids that uh, really, during this decade, the most articles on the health benefits of, uh, of omega-3 fatty acids appeared in print. And I'm not going to go on, 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 on this product because we really discuss it uh, 
completely this morning. Oops. But, uh, but, the uh, but the fifth decade, uh, there was a new villain uh, in, in this decade identified, and I'm pretty sure you know. What do you think it was? Uh, 1998 to 2007, and it continues being so. Uh, it's sugar and, uh, and, uh, and processed carbohydrates. So d during this decade, we had been focusing so much in low-fat diet. We're focusing on, 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 uh, on the phytonutrients. And, but we didn't, re we didn't realize that the consumption of uh, processed uh, carbohydrates, very highly processed carbohydrates and sugar, had kind of crept up. And uh, and um, and it and it was uh, creeping up uh, with the, with the increasing uh, obesity rate and creeping up with the increase on diabetes. And they they were looking at what could be the cause of uh, of, of this increase. And they found out, sh sure enough, uh, these high uh, sugar uh, uh, high product food products and high carbohydrate food products caused a rapid rise in blood levels, and that was associated to uh, increased uh, this rapid rise, uh, continual rapid rise um, in blood sugar uh, as a result of sodas or, 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 or sugary drinks or, or high carbohydrate meals, resulted this, uh, this high uh, rapid rise in blood sugar, and that was associated to increase in obesity, uh, diabetes, and other metabolic disorders. And so Neolife uh, scientists th thought, you know, it is time that we, that we make sure that our products do not cause a rapid rise in, bl in blood sugar. So we uh, developed this uh, glycemic response control technology and uh, to make sure that the, that the blood sugar was kept within, uh, within normal ranges after the consumption. And, sh and, uh, and sure enough, we tested our products. Again, we tested them at Health Research and Study Center. And sure enough, when you took uh, our products, uh, it maintained blood sugar levels at constant, uh, at within a, an area of control, within an uh, area of uh, normal, mo normal levels. And it was funny because we compared this to many different, uh, many different uh, drinks, uh, protein drinks that were available in the market, and to a normal breakfast. And, and the only one that kept the blood sugar levels constant was, uh, was our, our Neolife shakes. And we did it also with every time that we introduced a new shake, we we confirmed that this was published in the in the journal of the College of Nutrition, and uh, we presented the results uh, there. Um, the sixth day, the sixth decade, from 2008 to 2017, again uh, an an, er an an area we produced uh, a lot of new products, but also we dedicated a lot of time to conducting these clinical studies that I spoke about this morning on our Salmon Oil Plus to confirm that it is uh, bioavailable, that it provides uh, anti-inflammatory power and that provides uh, uh, cardiovascular uh, protection. Okay, whoops. So in the sixth, de the sixth decade, uh, again, so we introduced a new uh, uh, a new life shake uh, weight loss program uh, with a, li a little higher protein uh, content, very high quality uh, um, uh, uh, protein, uh, a blend of different protein uh, prote proteins that assure us that we were providing the 22 amino acids and necessary in in um, in human nutrition. Updated uh, some of the. Uh, amino acid benefits, provide a little fiber. But, and so we also wanted to test, yes, is this product effective? And, and indeed, we, we conducted a three-month study, and it showed that, yes, it was very effective. And we surprised ourselves again, that not only in, in, uh, in being a very effective weight loss program, but it also resulted and in an improvement in lipid levels, which was unexpected in lower cholesterol and uh, significantly and lowered LDL uh, cholesterol, which is the, the bad uh, lipoprotein, the la bad form of protein. So, so again, this was published in the American College of, Nus of Nutrition Journal and presented at their annu annual institute. 
So the sixth decade continuing 2008 to 2007, I think for in my opinion, oops, uh, in my opinion, this represents the culmination of supplementation in, 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 in the market. We've, we've put together our stellar products, Trenen, carotenoid com uh, complex, salmonoid plus, and, um, and uh, uh, essential vitamin and mineral capsule that delivers uh, the necessary vitamins and minerals, the essential vitamin minerals that we need in a very convenient package. And uh, I don't think there is in the market any supplement, and, and I'm, I'm not a being here, I'm being a scientist, I'm really not being a, as, <laughs> as Liz was saying, that, that it seems that I'm uh, marketing, I'm very excited about this product, uh, that delivers really so many years of research and, and proof of e efficacy in a little, in a little package. So I, I'm, I'm uh, very amazed of this product and of course I share it with anybody I know, all my kids, my relatives, they are all taking a, a <laughs> provitality. Okay, so coming to the, to the end, so now it's the seventh decade. Oops, sorry, the seventh decade. Uh, so, oops, so we're there. <laughs> So we developed, we redesigned our uh, uh, skin care program and we introduced Nutrients Organic. This uh, uh, project was spearheaded by uh, our um, uh, uh, Vice President of Science and Technology and, and the leader of the Scientific Advisory Board, uh, Dr. Diane Clayton, that she got together with marine biologists and uh, research uh, insti uh, dermatology institutes and developed this fantastic uh, product based on uh, thalassotherapy, which is based on the goodness of, of, the, of the nutrients from the ocean. And, this it, and it's really a fabulous uh, product that uh, provides protective uh, uh, nutrients for the skin, nutritive uh, compounds from seaweed, from uh, botanicals, from uh, uh, from uh, um, essential oils, that it is truly fantastic, and the most and where that is all the part of based in uh, in nature and the backed by science is that it it really has been certified uh, ECOCERT by this uh, the the certifying company that certifies that products are sustainable uh, and uh, uh, eco friendly and organic, and it has been proven to hydrate, moisturize, nourish, and really soothe the skin. And all these tests have been done, tests have been done in France under uh, the guidance of uh, a very prestigious uh, French uh, laboratory. But the only thing I have to say uh, uh, that I think is more convincing is that, so I started using the cream, the eye cream, and my husband never even looks at me, I think, in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and I'm going to, and then suddenly I, I you know, yeah, I, I'm, I was testing the product. And, and then like the third day that I put all this in my eyes at night, and then I go in the morning and he's like, wow, your eyes look so good. So for me, I, I don't care what other, <laughs> what other uh, testing facilities say, but that is uh, uh, very important. So I, I did, this concludes my talk and I, and I'm, I want to uh, emphasize the fact that we always looked at, at, at nature as a guide uh, to our products, not, so not only in raw material selection, but also um, in, in, in formulation. I, I've talked a lot about the carotenoid complex, salmonoid, all the way, all the way back to trend, and we don't give you s just one essential oil. There are so many supplements that just have like linoleic acid or alpha linolenic acid. No, we provide uh, the, the family of nutrients that work together, omega-3, uh, omega-6, uh, extract from uh, the grain concentrates, the carotenoid family, the flavonoid family. And this is a constant topic that is very hard to find in, in other companies. I, I don't know an, another company uh, that, that, that does that. And then, again, backed by science. We pay so much attention not only in, 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 and in how wonderful it looks in the label, but just because it's based in nature, but how all these, in, uh, how all these ingredients work, 
work, these nutrients work together in our cells and in our, in, and in our body and always testing for purity, uh, for e efficacy and uh, for bioavailability. And so uh, one thing, th again, I already said that, but one of the things that all the SAB takes a lot of pride is that we're one of the few companies that actually do goes through the trouble of testing efficacy and publishing in, in, in prestigious journals so, uh, so, uh, so we can disseminate the science and, and have other people learn a little bit more and, and also uh, present the information in scientific journals. And so it concludes my talk. Neolife always stretching the boundaries of knowledge in cellular, nut and cellular nutrition and really uh, to offering the world's best products. And thank you so much. <laughs>